I'm going to tell you a story, you'd say. You had one for everything, inventing them on the spot if you thought they'd help. Once when I was a child, upset about something, you told me it was important for difficult things to happen in my life. You said it was beautiful. In a way, every challenge we face is beautiful. You said each star in the sky was born from that beauty. And later, we used those stars to navigate. We steer our ships by them. We discover new ground. We return to harbor by their light. You said the challenges we overcome give us direction. When I was a kid, you showed me pictures of space. Nebula, planets, comets, stars. You turned lessons into bedtime stories. What this introduced to me was a universe of inconceivable magnitude and boundless mystery. I remember sitting in my classroom, watching the launch of the Space Shuttle Challenger. It launched with the same explosive energy as the birth of a star, the birth of the universe, the birth of life. And it fell the same way. Suddenly I felt aware of violence life and death of the universe's elements echoing each of us. On August 6, 1944, the number one song was Swing on a Star by Bing Crosby. The Detroit Tigers beat the White Sox, three to one. And you were born. Some 18 billion years earlier, time was born, and with it, our history. They say it started from a single point of unfathomable density, outside of which nothing existed. Not space, not time, I suppose not even nothing. There was only a single point of pressure. And from it came the greatest event of all time, the Big Bang. And time came into being, along with matter. You said, our greatest ancestor was that moment. Every element, every particle that ever existed, from our home to the furthest reaches of the cosmos is shared with us. We are of the stars, and we are among the stars. We are not born into this world, we are born out of it. The event that started it all mirrored in each of us. The universe creates us, while we, in turn, help create the universe. And you move in infinite directions through it all. Where I sit right now, there are cinder blocks covered with layers of paint, old wood floors, and the sound of tires on a wet road coming through the window. I imagine where you are, there are no edges or corners, only curves and endless expansion atoms like dust blowing about. I believe that out there where you are, time exists all at once. Moments of our lives dog-eared like the pages of a good book, waiting to be read again. I believe somewhere, right now, you're telling me about the stars. The Challenger is launching again. Right now, we're on vacation at the beach. You're seeing your wife for the first time, and you just met your baby brother, who thanked me in the kitchen for helping with the medicine. And then you give me a hug. And because all time exists at once, I know that somewhere you're still there in that kitchen hugging me. And that way it's never over. Now when I look up at the stars, I think of that bedtime story. Each star symbol marking the curiosity and the effort of each of us that have walked this earth. The stars, every one of them an afterlife, a reflection of all time, echoing on and on. The other day, 
where we once walked. I saw your mannerism in your grandson. I heard your name called to your granddaughter. I saw you looking through my sister's eyes. And just now, I heard your voice, and it came from me.